My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have another unique, amazing car today, a 1940 Ford pick'em up truck. Uh, this is an all steel, it's a genuine 40 Ford. Very nice, like nostalgic custom, we'll call it. Has the flathead V8 under there and the red wire wheels. Uh, also has air conditioning. I found that to be pretty uh, interesting. Wasn't expecting that. First class, front to back, top to bottom. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all about it. Look at all the pictures. And you'll find price tags along with monthly finance options on every one of our cars that we have for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. This is from the Claude O estate. We just acquired 25 cars from his estate. Um, he kept a full-time mechanic uh, maintaining his cars. His wife said he wanted to be able to take any car at any time, go for a ride. Uh, so these all come in nice running, uh, nice, well cared for cars, not some old barn finds. <clears throat> uh, and every one of his cars was unique and interesting, and this is no exception. Look at this thing. It's absolutely beautiful. The colors really make the car. Um, body was off the frame. There's 1,600 miles on the restoration. So underneath is fresh. Every nut and bolt and cotter pin uh, all looks fresh. Uh, it's the original frame. The VIN number on the frame matches the title. Uh, the suspension, steering, uh, front and back, all that's been rebuilt. Uh, the whole brake system's been rebuilt. Master cylinder, brake lines, uh, still drum all the way around. It's got custom dual exhaust, very nicely bent. Uh, turned down tips all the way in the back here. It looks like it's ceramic coated. It has a silver finish, just like the ceramic headers. So I'm assuming it's ceramic coated. Uh, it has glass pack style mufflers, uh, new fuel tank, inline electric fuel pump, because uh, it is converted to 12 volt electric, by the way, too. And then obviously they got it lowered. They got the stance on this thing sitting just right. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's spotless. The motor mounts the starter. Uh, all that's pristine. The three-speed transmission, the manual three-speed is restored. Uh, the drive shaft's rebuilt. It has the original banjo style uh, rear end in the back. Uh, the metal floors, uh, the uh, wood floor you see from underneath, all of its beautiful shape. The body, all steel. The fenders, everything about it's steel. They did an excellent job. You know, black hides nothing. This one is nothing to hide. Absolutely straight, smooth, clean. It is chopped. So I can see the whole roof. Nice, no issues. You can't tell where they chopped it. There's no signs of anything. They did an amazing job. The whole box is excellent. The metal fenders are excellent. Tailgate is all mint. Everything here is just excellent. I'm looking at the body, all fantastic, all metal. <clears throat> all down here, the lower cab corners, the door fits beautifully. All the body lines, I don't see any issues. No bubbling, metal running boards, all of that's in excellent shape. The cowl opens and closes from inside. The hood, they eliminated the trim on the hood, gave it a nice clean look, filled it all in. There's no signs of that. The paint is like glass. I mean, really, I, I could read the newspaper, I could read a dictionary in the reflection. It's absolutely a black mirror. The fenders, the body, all of it is a black mirror. Hand pinstripe, very tastefully done, really makes it pop. All the chrome is replaced, has Nerf bar bumpers, original style chrome grill. All new smoked glass, has a V-butt windshield in the middle here. Windows roll up and down nicely. All the seals and gaskets are real nice. 
You got stainless uh, pins on the hinges. You got nice mirrors, handles, even the locks are replaced. Again, the running boards, everything is just mint. On the box itself, there's some pimples down here in the paint. I don't know why it's all metal, and there's some pimples right here. So something must have contaminated it. Obviously, it's not rusted. You can see both sides. It's just metal. <clears throat> Got a little pinstripe here. Blue dots in the tail lights. Chrome nuts and bolts. The bumpers re-chromed. Got the Ford V8. That's all real cool. Original style locking gas cap. You got 15 or 16 inch uh, red wire wheels. I'm sure they're new reproduction with the V8 center caps. Radial uh, white wall tires, bigger, fatter in the back, adds to that stance. So outside this car is just amazing. Uh, now let's see what it looks like inside. So it has a new easy to use latch system with the strap. Uh, the whole inside of the box is painted beautifully. I like the color uh, on the oak that they use, a nice uh, golden uh, color with stainless steel strips. And then look at the metal storage box, nice straight metal, painted black, pinstriped. Uh, just nice dry storage because there's really no room inside the truck. So if you're going away for the weekend or want to go to a car show, uh, you got a place to store some of your things. The colors really make this truck. If it had been some goofy purple or blue, or uh, I, I don't think I'd like it nearly as much as this black with the red. It, it fits this truck. It's a nice classic look. Uh, so the door jams are painted beautifully. You got uh, some Ford logo embossed on the door panel. Nice chrome handles. All the metal is painted black. You even have some pinstriping on the inside of the uh, cab. Uh, this instrument uh, panel is new. It has white face, Stuart Warner gauges. They're all matching. They're like a classic looking gauge. You got three matching knobs, very neatly done. The air conditioning, the stereo, uh, the controls for the most part are kind of tucked away under the dash. It has a nice uh, original style steering wheel. The shifter on the floor has a Von Dutch shifter knob, which is pretty cool. And then the uh, door panels, kick panels, seat, all are upholstered to match the headliner too. I'm six foot tall. I fit in here very comfortably. If you're six foot four, I think you're going to be pushing it because uh, the seat doesn't go back. But at six foot, uh, I was very comfortable. It's an Alpine stereo with a CD player. Look at that beautiful motor. I love it that it's a, a flat head. It's all been rebuilt and it's got all the vintage period uh, correct hot rod upgrades. It has the wind uh, finned aluminum heads. Uh, it has the polished aluminum intake with dual carburetors and they've been chrome plated. It has the chrome teapot uh, air cleaners. And then you got an oil filter little bit extra chrome, like the cover, the breather, the uh, radiator tubes, all that's chrome. Uh, no longer has a generator. It has an alternator. Here's the air conditioning system. New radiator with a chrome cap. Electric fan. Also has a Mallory ignition kind of tucked underneath there. And if you look down here, Fenton headers. That's who made the headers back in the day for these flatheads. 12 volt battery with a disconnect switch and all the metal is painted real nicely under the hoods painted nicely and has a chrome uh, hood latch mechanism. So very nice looking uh, motor compartment, very cool. I'm going to 
tell you, this is a really well-built truck. This is quality. I know it's hard to tell through pictures and even the videos, uh, but th this is quality. Just the way everything fits. How clean the body is, just everything about it. Super nice. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Talk to the salesman. They'll try and answer your questions. Uh, they can help deliver this car anywhere in the world. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.